Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a new mythic item that's coming with the Necron chapter. It's Esoteric Environment Griefs, and it's finally a good defensive mythic for tanks, and it's completely overpowered. And to be honest, I'm expecting it to get nerfed. With this mythic, as long as you're above 33% stamina, you take 50% less damage and lose 1572 stamina whenever you take direct damage, up to once every half a second. So you basically get tons of damage mitigation in exchange for losing a lot of stamina sustain. The thing is, the stamina drain triggers only on direct damage, while the damage mitigation works on everything except for oblivion damage, which means that it'll be great item to use in fights with hard hitting dots. But even in fights with lots of direct damage, the sustain isn't as bad because with so much damage mitigation, you are free to heavy attack almost whenever you want. My first thought was that this mythic would synergize well with the Sigic Meditate skill, combined with the Deliberation passive which grants 30% damage mitigation. Combined with this mythic, you'd be taking 65% less damage. You could even push it further with stuff like the Light of Cyrodiil set, or High Elf's Spell Recharge Ratio, and maybe this approach would be good in a group with a healer. But for the testing, which I've done solo, damage shields were much, much better. You couldn't just stand there meditating. I decided to test it against the first boss of Halls of Fabrication, the chickens. I started the testing with a Necromancer, as at the beginning I still thought that Meditate would be the way to go. Necromancers get 10% damage mitigation from the Spirit Guardian skill, and 15% dot reduction from Disdain Harm passive, which wasn't useful for this fight. After a bit of testing, I realized that damage shields, in this case defensive stance, are way better than meditating. I was managing to survive for about 40 to 45 seconds on a Necromancer with the Esoteric Environment Griefs on, compared to dying after 15 seconds without the Mythic. The issue with Necromancer was that I was running out of stamina, because Necromancers don't have access to a damage shield that costs Magicka. I decided to test out Arcanist next, and it did way better. The Imperious Rune Ward works so well with the Esoteric Mythic, and I was able to hold out for more than 50 seconds. Arcanist Busted Sustain also helped out a lot here. I also wanted to test Dragon Knight, but did it very poorly. I could only survive for about 25 seconds. I also decided to test it out in Stone Garden. The first two bosses were extremely easy, I was barely taking any damage and the hits weren't frequent enough to truly affect my stamina. On the last boss, I asked my DDs not to focus the ads to really test the mythic, and it was actually so much easier than whenever I tried it on live. At one point I tried meditate, but with so many ads being alive, the heavy attacks were so frequent I couldn't meditate for long, so I unslotted it. It was extremely easy in the first phase, and got much harder in the second phase because I had to block the standing poison, which combined with the mythic drained my stamina really fast. It's also worth mentioning that this mythic doesn't actually do well against the first boss in the new trial, Sanity's Edge, since the dot deals oblivion damage and cannot be mitigated by anything, and it ignores damage shields. And that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any ideas where this mythic could be really useful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.